In order to do this assignment, we'll be using the program Desmos. You'll input the equation into Desmos, and Desmos will provide you the graph. And using that graph, you'll sketch the quadratic function. And with your sketch, then you will answer the following questions provided in the worksheet. The worksheet asks you to identify the values for the standard function. It's going to ask you to label the key features on the graph by identifying three points, labeling the vertex, and drawing the axis of symmetry using dotted lines. And then lastly, you will answer these following key descriptions to help you start um, to help you start understanding the key characteristics of the quadratic function. So this is a demo and this is a sample problem. A key feature that you can use if you're completing your assignment on the iPad is by using the split screen feature. So to do a split screen feature, all you just need to do is swipe up, make sure your worksheet is already loaded on Notability, then grab the app that you want to use such as Safari, just drag it to the side. This will allow you to split the screen or create a multi-screen that overlays with one another. While using Safari, make sure that you go on to desmos.com and then on the right corner, you'll notice the word start graphing. All you need to do is touch start graphing and then it will take you to the graph. Then we want to be able to see this screen right next to our worksheet so we can get our equation and we'll type in our equation. So in our sample problem, my equation is 2x squared, so 2x squared minus 8x. And notice as I'm typing, the graph is changing plus 5. Then what you can do now is you can make this page big so you could take a screenshot. And remember, our graph that we're working with is by negative 10 by positive 10. So all you just want to do is find a good picture to help you paste it onto your notability so you can use that to sketch your graph. Once you take your screenshot, what you can do is touch your picture and you can just maybe even crop it. Once you crop your photo, press done and you can save it to photos. Then on your notability, go to your photo library and find that cropped photo that you made and just insert. And mine apparently didn't get cropped all the way, so I'm just going to recrop it one more time to help me. And I just want the key features. So notice that the first direction asks us to identify the values from the standard function, which is right here. So remember, a standard equation is written as ax squared plus bx plus c. The 2 is in front of the x squared, so a is 2, b is negative 8, and c is 5. Then we're going to have to sketch the function, but to do that, we want to be able to identify the three clear points. So by looking at our graph, we see a clear point is right here, another clear point that we see is right there, and right here. And if you want to help uh, guide you to find the points, you could just Label the points, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 5, so this is all increasing by 1. So we know our key points is 2, negative 3. So 2, negative 3 is right here, and that's one clear point. We see another clear point is right here, which is 4, 5. 4, 5 is right here. Another one, 0, 5. Then what we're going to do is we're going to connect the point. Remember, a parabola is a U-shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just going to connect the point and create this U-shape. And try to go through the point. Okay. So that's your first step. Then you found a sketch for your graph. Then what we can do is we can get rid of this photo now because we don't need it because we have our sketch right here. Let's just delete the photo. Then the next step asks us to label the vertex. Remember the vertex is either the smallest point or the highest point on the graph. Clearly the smallest point on this graph is right here. That's the lowest point that we see. So the lowest point that we see is two, three. So we can call this the vertex and we'll label it as the vertex. And we'll write two comma three on the worksheet. Now, the next question it asks you is, is it the min or the max? Remember, minimum is the smallest point, and because it's at the bottom, this will be considered a min. And the min is at the bottom of a U-shape. The max will be the highest point, and the shape goes down. So here, this is my minimum, so we'll call it the minimum. 
So we just did two things at once. We labeled the vertex and we identified the point. Now the next part is the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is where the parabola is reflecting. Relatively, the vertex will always be on the axis of symmetry. So notice the line of reflection is right here and we're gonna create a line. And notice that a vertical line is represented by the equation x equals, and look at the vertex. Our x value is two. So our axis of symmetry will be x equals two. So you'll write x equals two. I also drew the axis of symmetry right here using dotted lines. So I'm done with this step. I finished my first step earlier. Now the last question that the worksheet asks me for this problem is, is the direction going up or down? Since the parabola is going up because you see the arrows pointing upward, you'll say the direction is going upwards. And this is how you'll complete these problems.